Away from that, let's tell you that Zamfara State Governor Daoud Alawal is calling on Muslim clerics in the state to stay away from politics and focus more on religious issues, which is their main calling. He asked them to intensify prayers for peace and for God to expose those behind killings of innocent persons and destruction of property in the state. Theophilus Darofai has more. Religious leaders play a vital role in ensuring peace and harmonious coexistence in the society. Muslim weekly prayers have long been observed in Zamfara as a way of finding divine solutions to problems bedeviling the state. Governor Dodalol, his deputy, and other top government functionaries are present at this week's prayers. He says clerics should focus more in preaching the message of peace and harmony rather than engaging in political conversations, which most times heightens the problem. <laughs> He warns that when clerics leave their primary assignment and part of objectivity and engage in politics, they end up misleading their followers. I appeal to you clerics to stay away from politics and concentrate on preaching the message of peace, love and harmonious coexistence. Don't allow politicians to drag you into their matter. If you do, you will end up misleading your followers. Governor Dodo Lol appealed to the Muslim Ummah to intensify prayers for divine intervention over the worsening security issues in the state. He praised God to expose those behind killings and kidnapping in Zamfara and the country at large. I enjoy you all to intensify prayers for lasting peace in our dear state. Let us all pray to God to expose those behind killings and kidnapping of innocent persons who are making life unbearable to our people. Zamfara is supposed to be one of the best states in the country, but so many things had gone wrong in the past. We will restore the lost glory of our state. Governor Lowell also directed that prayers for peace be conducted regularly in all mocks across the state. This call for intensified prayers is coming hours after armed bandits attacked the MS Palace in Maru, killing one palace guard and four other persons. The development has forced the state government to shut down Maru weekly market indefinitely until the security situation in the area improves. Safe is that, TVC News, Kusau.